over, around, and through all those people and things that cause us to be depressed and bring us down in our day and help us find a way to move forward. That's what this is all about, the positive power of humor. So I'm stuck on the Garden State Parkway. I'm not going anywhere. My hands are clenched. I'm about to explode. So I reach over into my glove compartment for my humor tool, and I put it on. Immediately, my stress is gone, because you can't be stressed out when you look like an idiot. So now my job is just to get everybody around me to just notice I've got a screw loose and just kind of smile, right? So I'm holding on. In New Jersey, this is no big deal. In New Jersey, they just go, oh, God. <laughs> I chose the name Humor Advantage because that's really what this is about. It's about having an advantage in life by changing the way you look at life. Stress is not an event. It is merely a reaction based on our perception of the event. And perceptions can be changed. When you laugh out loud from down here, 16 major organs in your body are positively affected. Every single time you laugh out loud, 20 seconds of good hard belly laughter is equal to three minutes of strenuous rowing. I was so happy when I heard that. I get up every single morning. I stand in front of a full-length mirror, stark naked, and I just laugh and laugh and laugh. And the older I get, the easier it is to laugh. I say happier people are more productive because it's true. They are more productive. It really kicks off a conference well because it puts people in the proper frame of mind so that they can then go into other sessions and be more open and ready to learn. Right now, if you would, pick a partner. Now look right into that person's eyes, and if you would, repeat these words with all the enthusiasm you can muster up. Look right into their eyes and say, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I'm not you. <laughs> Positive power of humor is different because it doesn't just change you for that day or for that moment or for that uh, particular job you're doing. It changes you inside, from within, so that you look at life differently. Whether it's emotional, physical, financial, no matter what it is, the more you stress and worry about it, the worse it's going to be. But if you can find a way to bring some joy into your life, you'll find it easier to move forward. It doesn't cure the situation. It just makes you stronger so that you can help yourself to move forward. The happier your people are at work, the easier it's going to be to get their job done and get it done right. The ability to see the absurdity in difficult situations is a skill, and my father was a master at this. They're wheeling her out of the room to have the hip bone removed and the plastic hip put in, and we're all worried, and we're praying, and we're nervous wrecked. My father leans out and goes, Angela, don't forget to tell the doctor, save that bone for the dog. Stress and worry cause insomnia, types of paralysis, nervous stomach ulcers, premature aging. I'm 95. <laughs> I am so not afraid of making a fool of myself. I think that's my job. My name is Yvonne County, and there's something wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at me with a nasty, hateful look. Some of you already are. For 12 years, I didn't see a man except the priest. So when I did graduate high school, I saw a man, he said hello, I said I do, and that was it. There's a very serious tone to this presentation because I talk about things that hurt me and have hurt me. And hopefully somebody in that audience who is also hurting will connect with it and find a way through it. When my father passed away, we were, you know, dressed in black from head to toe. We were that, you know, big black cloud going across the room, just as sad as we could be. We are never going to laugh again, you know. He sold pots and pans for his livelihood. And we walk into this room, a huge room filled with caskets, and we're so sad. Life is just over for us. Way over in the corner in the dark. He said, that one there is solid stainless steel. And my mother goes, oh my God, that's the one we want. We looked at her, we go, Ma, that's the cheapest casket in the room. What's the matter with you? She goes, your father was in stainless steel his whole life. He should be in stainless steel forever. <laughs> that's the positive power of humor. It can take you from a moment of deep sorrow and pain and bring you to one of joy in an instant without you even thinking about it. I don't know how that happens. I just know that it does. I know that I connect with the audience on an emotional level because I can either see them doing one of two things. 
They're either laughing really hard or they're crying. My mother and father in the front seat, we would drive off into the countryside until we saw strangers sitting on the porch. And daddy would pull in the driveway and honk the horn and we'd hang out the windows and go, we're here. And the people would go, who the heck? And as soon as they got this close to the car, daddy would pull out of the driveway, back up and hightail it down the road and we would laugh. We thought that was hysterical. And every time I tell that story, my father is right here with me. I can see his smile, I can hear his laughter, and I can bring him to you. Don't you feel like you know him? Sure, because he taught us how to laugh together as a family, and what a wonderful gift that was. When you go home today, I want you to think about the people in your life, the people who are important to you, and think about how they will think of you once you're gone. And if it's not coming from a place of joy, you need to make some changes in your life. Success, money, and power will get you a bed with fancy bells and whistles and even a mirror. It'll never buy you a good night's sleep. And yes, you can purchase a good time, but never peace of mind. And as Hugh Grant taught us, you can buy yourself a companion, but you can't buy love. I wish for all of you to have more of the things that success, money, and power can get for you, but all of the things that are absolutely free. If you just learn to have true joy in your heart, and share that with the people in your life, you will be truly blessed.